today's experiment we're going to in investigate uniform and non-uniform charge distribution. For this setup we have an electrometer which will help us measure the voltage. We have a DC power supply which is connected to this charge sphere right here. We have a disconnected sphere over here which we'll investigate in a few minutes. A Faraday ice pail which we'll use to measure the charge that we will pull off of the spheres with this proof plane. First we'll take a look at this charge sphere and what I'll do is place the proof plane on the sphere to collect the charge off the sphere. Place it into the ice pail and you'll notice the positive voltage which I touched the ice pail there. Because I touched the ice pail the charge remains on the Faraday ice pail. It's been removed from the proof plane and to remove that charge from the pail you just hit the zero button on the electrometer, ground the charge, bring it back to zero. Let's take a look at the charge on a few other points on the sphere. As you can see, positive charge, almost equal magnitude on most points on the sphere, which indicates a uniform charge distribution because you have a constant power supply. And that is a uniform charge distribution. What we're going to do now is move this uncharged sphere in close proximity to the charged sphere. Remove the charge on the proof plane and investigate the charge on the disconnected sphere. First we'll look on the side closest to the charged sphere. You can see we have a negative charge on the close side. Let's look at a few other spots. Still a negative charge with different magnitude. We'll come over here and look at the back side. Bit of a positive charge. And then here on the opposite side, you can see we have positive charge. So as we investigate the charge on this disconnected sphere, you can see that the magnitude and the polarity of the charge varies from point to point around the sphere. And this is because it doesn't have a constant voltage supplied to it, and there's a magnetic field being generated by this sphere, which is attracting the electrons in this sphere, pulling them closer to it, creating a deficiency of electro electrons on the right side, hence the positive charge. And the uneven distribution of electric charge on these spheres. That completes this experiment.